I'm encouraged to see that you are doing the same thing yeah. and able to see that. And so I want to know about when you went from the height of all heights, you're winning every award, you're the yeah. top player, one of the top players in college, people know you, um, to going on a team where now the coach says basically, you know, we have 11 players that are better than you, you play one minute the whole year. Mm -hmm. What was your mindset and attitude during that time and how are you able to get through that? You to know, go from here to be like, oh, you're, you're not even playing. Well, I knew like going into the pros, it was going to be a whole nother like level, you know, like you watching these, you know, the girls on the national team, you know, growing up and stuff like that. It's just a whole nother level. And um, so I knew it wasn't going to be easy and I had no expectations. Like I wasn't like I deserve to start. I just knew that what I was good at was working very hard and being a great teammate. Yeah. And I was always a very like motivating person, like you got this, like, and so going into that, I just kind of was like, I'm going to embrace this environment. I'm going to learn from all these older players and I'm going to see if maybe I get my chance. And when I get my chance, then I'm just going to go all out and I'm mm. going to like show them that I deserve to be there. It was never an expectation that like, oh, you have to play me. It was never that. Um, which I think hurts some people that, that do have that. So I was never that. I was always just a very hardworking player. So I went in there every day, was early to practice, would do extra work on the side, always to show the coach that I wanted to be there. Yeah. And in practice, you know, I was just, just trying to win as many balls. I was just, you yeah. know, trying to be a good teammate. And because I knew that my ta time was going to come. Mm. And then it didn't come. And I was like, yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, like I think I, I think I deserve like a chance, maybe, but maybe it's not with this team. Yeah. And yeah. and that's okay. Like different coaches see different things, you know, and different teams have different needs. And I just didn't really know where I fit. I kind of was going in this space because I was always a really good forward, but like a center strong forward. I was never like, hey, I'm gonna take on five people and, and yeah. score a goal. I was, I'm gonna use my body to my advantage. Most of my goals were header goals. Hmm. Um, so I knew what my strengths were. And at that level, these girls are fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was never fast. I was quick when I needed to be. Yeah. Um, but I was never like gonna yeah. outrun Alex Morgan. Yeah. I just like, yeah. she's like in yeah. incredible. So you have to use your, your strengths and your weaknesses. And, um, for me, I was just kind of like, well, maybe do I try a new position? I like didn't really know any other spots. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what do I got to do? Yeah. Like, so I just like, maybe I'm never going to get a chance because these girls are so good. Like these And they're ones. winning. Yeah. So like if I, I've been on a team where I had a run with the coach and it's like, and the team's losing. So it's like. Well, put, in, put yeah, me in the game, like, totally. you know, but when they're winning, it's like, what can you say? Like, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm yeah. not going to, maybe they are all better than me, but I think that's just so amazing. And what I like about your story is a lot of the stories that you hear and a lot of mm -hmm. people go and do speaking and these things is like, I went and I fell off the deep end with drugs mm -hmm. or I, you know, got the DUI and killed someone and had to go to jail Jeez. and we're in prison and they're, it's like this, they did the wrong things. Yeah. And, and, and I relate to you in, in that way. If a, in order for me to ever even have a shot at anything mm -hmm. I ever wanted to do, I always had to do everything right, all the little things. I had to put in the extra work, had to get the good grades, had to, to, to overcome to even have a chance. Yeah. And that's why I love that about you mm -hmm. is that you are, because I mean, especially as an athlete with, you know, you have to have confidence. You have to have a little bit of an ego, yeah. and a little bit of a hubris, but to be like, Yo, know, I'm the I'm the low lady on the totem yeah. pole, and I'm gonna hustle. I'm gonna show up early. Yep. I'm not gonna get down on myself. And I'm sure there were some moments throughout that time where it was oh, like yeah. frustration. There's no way there couldn't have not been a lot been. of crying moments. Yeah, that's for but sure. to to always show up and and I think that's a beautiful thing about your story is the work ethic, and yeah. that's something that we talk about a lot and we try to embrace is um, no one can do your push-ups for you, mm -hmm. and it's hard to beat someone who never gives up. Mm -hmm. And for me in my life too, like nothing's ever come easy yeah I have a lot of friends out here and it sounds like we have some some mutual friends that it just kind of they showed up they got the big role mm -hmm. they're a star yeah you know they they didn't have to grind out these things and 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 they went to the right to the front of the line they got in the cool kids mm -hmm. club they're approved by the industry and they're on yeah where for me it's been like the same as my sports career is like Oh, you're gonna be small. Okay, well, you better learn to be faster and smarter yep. and, and learn how to use your body. Okay, I gotta overcome that. But all those lessons set me up, I think, for success oh, ultimately yeah. in life. <laughs>